Hello everyone, how are y'all doing today? Big Bill back with some more American Truck Simulator. Today I have a very special trip planned for us. As today we are taking a special transport today. We're going to hop on a map here. We're going from Yuma, Arizona to Tucson, Arizona. Fun little trip we're going to be having. We're going to Centrax here in Tucson. And we are leaving, I think, Walmart. Yeah, it is Walmart. We're leaving Walmart. And just to clarify, I still do have the Peterbilt. The reason we are in a quick job. Oh. Oops. <laughs> the reason we are in a quick job is if you click on LA for me, nothing good pops up. It's pretty much the same stuff. So figure why not do a quick trip as a special transport. Got a few things to talk about. We are hauling a large reservoir tank. It weighs 77,161 pounds and it is 26 by 16 by 14. It's not one it's not one of the heaviest ones, but it's definitely I mean it's not one of the biggest ones, but it's definitely one of the heaviest ones, so Damn, this engine's quiet. Sorry guys, I'm trying to get out of town here, so that's the reason why I was a little quiet there. I was hoping the engine was a lot louder. Huh. Must not be a Cummins or a Caterpillar or anything. It must be a Packer. <laughs> we do have the engine sound pack from Kirichi Bomb. He hasn't updated it, I don't believe, but it should be, at, it should be working, so. Let me check the Dement Diagnostics. 625. I can only just imagine which one this could be. Oh, that's not going to help. Does not say, oh, Cat C15 straight pipe. That looks like that's the only one at 625, so. Huh. Okay. I mean, I don't see any other ones. There, 625. But anyways, um, it's going to take us four and a half hours to get there and roughly 275 minutes. I mean, 275 miles. Sorry about that. So, how are y'all doing? I hope you guys are having a wonderful week. Um, I know I am. I, well, really wasn't earlier in the week. Um, actually, for some weird reason, I got sick for one day. And I didn't feel like doing anything, so I just record. I uploaded those PA Auto Show videos. Hopefully, everybody enjoys them. 
very great show this year. Um, this is my second. It was my second year going. Um, I have to say, this year, I think this year was all right. I mean, there's a few bummer things, but you know, I'll, I'll be talking about that here shortly. But let's talk about SCS and let's talk about American Truck Simulator first. Let's talk about the main topic everybody wants me to talk about, and that is a new DLC map that is coming out. Hopefully, March or April, and that will be the new state. That will be Washington. So that blew my guess right out of the water, <laughs> even though I did pick Washington. Um, they are teasing with photos. Um, I think um, it is confirmed, though, that they are doing Washington. When I look at the photo, I'm like, that's Washington. <laughs> so... And you guys are... And if you guys are still wondering, I do have MHA Pro. If you guys did not watch the last video, because um, I do have McDermott and Wells, um, that's MHA Pro. And, of course, the other stuff is, um, where is it, where is it, where is it? Sorry. Um, I, have to get, I have to get back on a freight market, but... You guys see like Road Service or Lowe's, Home Depot, McDonald's or Burger King, I believe. Then yeah. So that was a quick topic. <laughs> but Yep, it's yellow. I can just see a little bit of yellow underneath that hood. I mean, you get closer to it, it sounds like a caterpillar, so. So I got a few topic, other topics to talk about. Of course, the Super Bowl is this weekend, and unfortunately for me, I got to work Saturday night. But. I'll probably be sleeping almost all day Sunday, waking up for the game. Uh, my New England Patriots are in it against the Los Angeles Rams. I did talk about this in the last video, but I figured why not bring it up again. And, you know, be, be, me being a Patriots fan, you know, I deal with a lot of haters or a lot of people that don't like me or shit like that. Just because I'm a Patriots fan, I don't care. It, it's football, okay? I don't have to give you the reason why. Oh, well, I, 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 a lot of people know the reason why I like the Patriots. There's a few main reasons, and then, the, you know, it's just how I am. Well, well, I, okay, here I'll tell you guys how it is. I'm a defensive guy. I'm a defensive player. I pretty much like the defensive players. Then I turn to offense, but. When I started playing football, my favorite people on defense were Rodney Harrison, Ty Law, Teddy Bruschi, Mike Rabel, Richard Seymour, you know, all of them guys. Now, on offense, of course, I'm a Brady fan, but I'm also a Corey Dillon fan, Kevin Falk, Troy Brown, Dion Branch, Rob Gronkowski, Ben Watson, you know. And those were my idols growing up. Now, not not now, obviously not some of the young guys, but some of the older guys, like Troy Brown, you know all that. Second reason is why I started playing football for flag football. I got picked by the Patriots, pretty much. And then when I got moved up. I went from Patriots to, the, I think, the Scramblers and to my high school team, which is the Colonials, which I didn't play football when I was in high school. I quit. Um, I knew I was never going to make it. You know, I had a dream of making it to the NFL, but I'm like, no. So, 
and I just got sick of tired of sports in general in, in high school because, you know, they wanted you to keep an eye on your grades and shit. Well, you know, and yeah. So now, it is a beautiful truck, though. I mean, I know we're going to be jumping from top to top, but. It just, it, it just, to me, this is just weird. Because I got a Caterpillar C15 underneath the hood. And, I mean. I hit that Jake break and it sounds like a Packer. It's it's a little weird. It's it's a little weird to me. I don't know if it's weird to you guys, but so now the other topic I would like to talk about is definitely the PA Auto Show. Had a great time Sunday. I went Sunday um, in the morning uh, with my cousin Little T, as you guys saw in the videos. Um, I had originally planned for Saturday, but. Saturday, I had some stuff to do, and I just couldn't do it, so I decided, you know what, you know, Little T is available, Tony, you guys can call him Tony or Little T, it don't really matter to him, um, we were available both Sunday morning, I said, spend the night Saturday night, we'll go up there, and boom, so, now I'm going to be distracted for a minute, if you guys hear something in the background, it's just my Xbox. Come on, start it up. <laughs> right now, I'm trying to start a TV show. There we go. And if you guys are running out of curiosity, this is 11 o'clock at night. <sighs> this is the time I'm recording it. <laughs> Excuse me. So... And don't worry, this will be uploaded same time as always. But back to the PA Auto Show. There's a few drawbacks about this year's uh, model show that I didn't like. Um, but the main thing I liked this year was um, the luxury cars. Well, that whole showroom where we saw all the luxury cars, the area before that, it had... Um, TV cars like Optimus Prime was there, a replica of Optimus Prime, Bumblebee, um, the cop car one, oh, I forget his name. Um, trying to think what else was there. I think there was like old muscle cars there too, were really nice. But this year, we could we could walk between the Alfa Romeo cars, the the, the Jaguar cars, and. You know, it felt cool walking by them because last year we couldn't. I mean, I mean, yeah, you got those little kids running around, you know, putting their fingerprints, but, you know, but hey. Another cool thing about this year, though, is that um, they added more exotics. Cars you don't see around where I live. Well, I take that back. You can see a lot of exotic cars here in Pennsylvania. It's just that not around here where I live. I think the most exotic car you're going to see is your Corvette, a Camaro, Charger, Challenger, you know, muscle cars. You're not going to see like what Street Speed 717 has and Troy Sauer has, and now it's McLaren's. Unless they come down here. You know what I mean. But anyway, um, the coolest thing I got to see, which I never get to see this vehicle on the road, nor do I ever get to see it in real life, and that is a Lamborghini and an Audi R8. I never see them two cars in real life, and all of a sudden they had two of them at the all show. I guess their owners own them. Um, those were an exotic size hypercars. 
I don't know why they call them hypercars. To me, they're not. But, but anyway, of course, I, I like that, you know. That's pretty much it about the auto. So there, there is one little thing that is still on my mind, but I can see why though. Um, I ain't gonna really talk about it. Um, so me and my cousin, we actually did to we did did to test drive two brand new Toyotas. Oh, actually, I tested one. He tested one too. He tested the brand new uh, Toyota Camry, and I to test drove the new uh, Toyota Tacoma, which is pretty neat. Especially the Toyota Camry. Hopefully, <laughs> that's one test drive I'll never forget. <laughs> I'm sitting in the back letting Tony drive, and all of a sudden the guy, oh my god. Well, actually, we can't go back to American Truck Simulator because, well, the topic. <laughs> so, that leads to PA Auto Show. I'm just going to set cruise control here. I'm sick and tired of playing with that throttle. Now what? Oh, uh, it's just a guy... Why are we stopping? The man I put on cruise control. Okay, everybody, there's a cop with his lights on. It's only because of me. Freaking AI. I swear. I'm sorry, but. I was, I was actually just on my other profile before I started recording this, and, um, you know the detours, everybody should know the detours in this game, but, anyway, I did three loads, my Peter Peterbilt, <laughs> all three loads, we had, I had to do a detour, <laughs> I was like, hmm, I wonder if this fourth load is going to give me a detour, <laughs> actually, that does bring me up, I want to show you guys this. If you guys want to watch the AI do some funky stuff, head to this truck stop right here. Head to this truck stop right here on the Interstate 5. It's between Medford and Eugene. It's right here. The AI, I swear, they do some funky stuff in that truck stop. <laughs> I mean, I could probably sit there and record and just watch them for a good hour. <laughs> But anyway, um, back to American Truck Simulator. Well, we were just actually talking about that. Um, it brought to my attention on some of the groups I'm in. Um, somebody was talking about a truck that was covered up, like in a tarp or something. And I think somebody took a picture. It was, it was either on Facebook or somewhere. Somebody posted it. Saying, ooh, looks like we're getting a new truck. And, you know, we just got the Volvo v &L, which is great. You know, we need another truck. And the way the truck looked, it, it looked like another economical truck. Like the T680, the Volvo, um, the Peter Rout 579. Camera T680. Sorry. And I'm looking at it, I'm like, you know, it kind of looks like an international but then if you go to the one, if you go to the front, it looks like the Freightliner. You know? Well. Anyways, uh, I've seen comments of people predicting what it is. And I'm just saying this out loud. I'm not trying to be a dick or anything. 
because it, it might sound like I am going to be. He's going to shock some people think I'm retarded or dumb or something. I swear. <laughs> I shouldn't say that word. I'm sorry, but. I can follow the GPS, you idiots. There's some jank shit right here. You know, I shouldn't say that word, so my apologies. It slipped out. But my cursion is coming down, if you guys haven't noticed. But anyway, anyway, back on topic. Somebody posted, somebody commented, it's a T680. Okay. For starters, the T680, Coward T680, is in the game already. Okay. Why would he put another one in the game? <laughs> oh, what's this? Okay, now this cop's stupid. Because this lane ends and I think this lane ends. I swear. These special transports, you know, makes you wonder, right? I mean, I'm, I'm just saying, but. <laughs> but anyway, you know, and I'm starting to think, you know, Volvo just, they bought, they bought Mac. So could it be the new Mac Anthem? Or Mac Pinnacle? Or any other Mac model? Or could it be the brand new Volvo, for that matter? So, I, I personally don't know. Um, my wild guess is going to be the Western Star or International. I can't see Freightliner putting, letting the comp, like letting SCS put it one of their trucks in this game. I personally can't see it. If they do, they do. If they don't, they don't. And just let you guys know, uh, do you see those exotic cars going by? That traffic pack did get updated to 2.9. Um, that's another reason why I'm stuck in LA because some of the mods got new, like updated. So. <sighs> Here comes one. No, oh, I mean truck. That better not be what I think it is in the fat. Man, that guy's got some balls. <laughs> if you guys hear like a bang sound or a knocking sound, it's the wind. So. At least I think it is. It could be something. Or it could be like a bird. <laughs> bird flying at night. It is actually very cold here where I'm living in, in Pennsylvania. I think the... Okay, he got over. Come on. Come on. God, I feel like I gotta do that every time I wanna get over. <laughs> I'm sorry, but... Oh, yeah. Oh, man. So that's pretty much the end of my weekend last week. And no, I did not watch the Pro Bowl or the NHL All-Star Game. I actually missed the All-Star Game. I normally do watch the All-Star Game, but um, 
I was actually flipping that back and forth between that and the Rolex 24 Hours of Daytona, which actually there is the other topic. <laughs> Let's talk about that quickly. I know Corvette Racing, um, my GT Le Mans team, Corvette Racing, they did not finish. I don't think they won GT Le Mans, so that sucks. But, you know, it's the beginning of the year. Hopefully we can rebound. Um, congratulations to uh, Kumo Kubayashi. Hopefully I said his name right. And Vander Van Der Reizen, Fernando Alonso, and Jordan Taylor on winning the Rolex 24 Hours at Daytona overall with Wayne Taylor Racing and Cadillac. And congratulations, Cadillac, on winning another one. You know, GM, GM. <laughs> so... All right, let's see if he does what he did before. Ooh, traffic this time. Oh, you motherfucker. This is where I take the window, roll it down, flash him the finger. Four drivers. <laughs> yeah, I am joking when I say that. <laughs> Thank you, boys. If you guys did not notice, actually, um, I did make a new playlist of Top Gear UK playlist. I actually like that playlist. <laughs> you better stop, buddy. <laughs> All the media ain't here. Nobody has a camera lady. Oh, maybe it is. But we are done, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. They are pulled out. Oh, there you go, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the trip. I did flew out on two naughty words that I shouldn't have, but sorry about that. Um, you know what to do? Hit that like button. If you guys want more? Subscribe and comment below. Do you guys want more of this stuff? Excuse me, and. Have a good, hope you guys have a good weekend. Enjoy the Super Bowl. Go Patriots all the way. And good luck to the Rams. You know, I, I hope it's actually a good Super Bowl. You know, this is actually the one team I actually did want to face in the Super Bowl. Um, it, was either, it was either them or the Saints I wanted to face. And, you know, um, good luck to the Rams. Uh, Sean McVay, Jared Goff, good luck. Um, hope you all have a wonderful weekend. And I'll catch you next time. Big Bill is out of here.